All right, cool. Thank you. So I just want to speak to uh, mind of some people, right? So and to tell you that to be in a, as I say, as a man thinker in his heart, so he is. Yeah. So if you think you cannot get a job, yeah, it will be difficult for you to get it, right? So the hardest prison in, in is your mind, actually. Some of us, we already cage ourselves inside our brain, right? And we think, yeah, I cannot do it. So I would say that if you're on this platform, make sure that you free yourself from that prison or prison that someone has already put you into or you put yourself by the reason of people telling you something. They have already told you it's not possible in the UK, you cannot do this. Even before, some of us actually got that mindset before they came into the UK or even before you come on this platform, uh, it's not possible. I can tell you my own story as well. Uh, many years ago, when I moved into the UK, I wanted to study and it was like, oh, no, how do you waste your time to go up to school? Eventually, you cannot do anything with it. And sometimes it would be like, oh, there was comment about the fact that, yeah, some people did MSc in the UK, they did you know, even PhD in the UK. They were using it to drive taxi or doing early momo of those days. So because of that, it's not possible. I think you just have to defile it, which I did. All right. So, and I think that, like I say, the rest is history. No matter what you want to do, put your mind to it, okay? Set your mind free that you can do it. In fact, you can do it. Yeah. And I like the popular slogan for the, even the motto of Nike. Yes, you can. So you can actually do this in any way. So, and it, just just do it, right? Like that's, that's Nike said, just do it. So, and don't try to analyze the scenarios too much, right? Whereby, you will not be able to do it anyway. So set your mind free. Put your mind on things. Some of us now, like you know, it was asked at the beginning of this program, uh, are you putting your mind into this thing? Do you want to do the internship? If your mind is telling you don't do it, maybe there's a reason that you should need to look into it probably because one way or the other, and some, some um, your mind might telling you, ah, you don't have the time. What about this thing? But to be honest, once you set your mind to do something, right, and you don't look back, yeah. So like I said, the rest is, is totally history. So today I want to encourage you that, as he said, yeah, if you put your hand upon the plow, don't, don't look back, don't look back. So and that is the message for someone today. Uh, it doesn't matter even if it's going to be this training or any other thing that you put your mind to do, right? Ensure that you set your objective right. Oh, follow you through. Follow you through. Stay focused is very, very important. And be a resilient character. So, and even in time of trial, persecution, temptation, or even when things are not working. So just know that, yeah, as he says, he that began the good work in you is faithful to complete it. So that is a word for someone today. So um, I also pray that that which you have laid your hands to do and uh, that which you have decided to do, you prosper in it in Jesus' mighty name. As, as you have set your mind upon this and to go through the training, uh, we pray that, yeah, you will be successful in it. It will not be a white elephant project. It will not be an abandoned project. It will not be a project that you will not finish. It will be a project that you will look back and you will have even the cause to glorify God. And it said, even at the end, you will have the object. Your objective shall be met in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. I pray that lines fall upon you in place and places. Uh, I pray if, for those looking for job that you would hear the call, <laughs> you will pick the call, and eventually the next interview will lead even to that particular uh, in, uh, to, that, to that particular job. Uh, we pray that everyone's open concerning all of us in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. As Joseph received favor from God and also from men, 
I will pray that I favor even from God and from men. People that you don't know who speak on your on your about you. People that you don't know who speak for you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. I pray that. Anywhere your name is mentioned, it will be for good in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. When they're deliberating about who is meant to be favored, your name shall pop up in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. You are in the record of favored people. You are in the record of people that will receive grace. Right now, we pray that you will receive grace right now for everything that you are doing in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. I pray for people that uh even shaking in their mind people that, that are in the prison of their mind we pray for liberty we pray for freedom in the mighty name of lord jesus we come against every word that has built an altar against you in the mighty name of lord jesus i said the truth that set you free we there speak the truth unto you that indeed he that began a good work in you is faithful to complete you. We pray that ye God is indeed with you on this journey and is indeed faithful to complete this in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. We will complete it in flying color. And at the end, you will have job even concerning it in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. Father, we say thank you. We give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. I uh, will see you guys again next week. But next week is going to be a very, very interesting one anyway because we are going to have a guest, actually. So this guest is my mentor, right? Uh, I would say mentor of many, many years, actually. So in 2005, I met this particular person and he spoke the words into my life, actually. And even till today, I do not forget that particular word. It was still stuck with me. So, you know, when people speak, they say, do this. And and that was still stuck with me. So maybe you might not know, I will be able to share those words with him. And he's doing very well, even in the IT field as well. So and I spoke to him last week and I said, yeah, I'm happy to, to share anyway. And he's, and he's a mentor of mentors, actually. If I call someone my mentor, that means, yeah, you can say he's a mentor for mentors. So, so I would say, please pick that. Uh, it's going to be a date anyway. So I would employ that you, you join. You are going to be blessed by it anyway. So, and also, yeah, invite your friends, your family members, anyone that wants to be empowered in one area or the other. So, and even it doesn't matter, even if it's academics, career, or different thing, finance. Yeah, I think you need to listen to this particular person anyway. Yeah, and this is where I would leave you. Thank you so much for having me. I will see you guys next week with my with my host. Thank you. Or uh, with my guest rather. Anyway, thank you so much for having me today. Yeah.